Alright, so we're going to do some grafting today. Um, we're going to do some different stuff and we're just going to experiment, see what works. So, and for anyone that's beginning or doesn't know how to graft, hopefully this will help you out. First thing, knife. Sharp knife. Um, I don't really go with serrated because you want it as clean as possible. So get a knife. If you don't, if it's not sharp, sharpen it. Get a sharpening stone and... I've already done it, but um, yeah, so this should be nice and sharp. Uh, and we're going to first get our grafting stock. So uh, I don't have specifically grafting stock to use, but I go around and just look at anything that I like. This is a Goliath Cross Kirsty, and so it doesn't bother me that I'm going to cut this one up because it's just. Um, you know, it's not that interesting to me specifically, so I'll cut it up there and I'll graft something onto it. So I've got these seedlings. These ones are from Peru. So they all look pretty similar at the moment. And so these uh, tend to grow out of the way they look now and they start to get some character. So it'll be interesting to graft these. Um, and see what they look like. The other thing I've noticed with seedlings is if they're grown in the shade, they won't show much character at all. But once they're sort of in full sun, they start to show what they truly look like. Um, so out of this, uh, you want to select something that's most interesting to you. So I'm going to go with this guy down here because he isn't necessarily uh, the smallest, but he's got quite long spines compared to these other guys. And if you can see, he's got um, decent notches on him. It's a bit in indented. So, what we're going to do is... You get your knife. And just cut as flat as you possibly can. Doesn't matter too much, that's pretty slanted. But, um, it, it shouldn't matter too much. And so you can see you've got the vascular ring there in the center, and that's what we want to graft onto. I might cut that area all off just because it was sticking out a bit. So chuck that there. And then again, you want to do this as flat and straight as possible. Straight in. So it's really not straight at all. So we're going to try again. And that's a bit better. And you want to try and overlap them. Not center like that, but overlap the two rings like that. And that's about right. And so my favorite technique at the moment that's given me the most success is using this. Uh, grafting tape which is mainly used for from what I understand uh, fruit trees um, to keep the humidity up and wrap it around but I find it sticks on the spines quite well so if you can get some of this it's great because it sticks and it's stretchy and it's quite strong so I'm going to go over and you want it quite tight pressed down on the cactus and looking at that I think it probably needs to go more that way to be on the vascular ring to be overlapping and that would probably be on it maybe another one this way I think that's overlapping now maybe a touch there whoops one more Yeah. So the trick is make sure that these are firmly pressed down. Um, if they're not pressed down hard enough, they're not going to connect. Uh, now the top's a bit fucked up there, but it's all right. Um, <clears throat> and so that's done. So we will get a label and write. Uh, 
Anor's seed. If you don't know, Anor Chavez or Hammond Grande is from Peru, and this is that's where that's the guy I got these seeds from. Um, so yeah, just so we can keep track of that, what that is. Oh, I'll also write graft. So, now I'll probably put this in the shade. Usually I don't really care too much, but you probably shouldn't have this stressing out too much. So if it's raining, put it under cover. If it's a super hot day, have it in shade. Um, yeah, just don't let it stress too much. But you want to keep the humidity up so you don't want it too dry. So I'm going to chuck this over here for now. And I'll, I'll sort them out later. Now we're going to go on to the next thing. So that was my favourite technique using uh, grafting tape. Um, which is just this sort of thin plastic stuff. Um, and so if you don't have that and you're like, no, nah, I just want to graph now, what else do you have in the house or in your garage? Maybe some other tape? Well, I've never used this. So we're going to give it a go and see what happens. All right. Um, so maybe you don't have grafting tape. Maybe you've got uh, packaging tape. We're going to see if it works. I've never done it before, so we're going to do a bunch of experiments. If it works, it works. So. Cut our guy here. Uh, not, he's not too bad. And I'm just going to take all my seedling cuts from here. Just pick some randoms. That's pretty good. Match up the vascular rings. Get our tape out. Um, maybe go around the side a bit. Oop, he's falling off. This does not look successful. How are we going to do this? Maybe we'll have to go just like that. Oh yeah. Tape on that side, tape on this side, and we need to make sure we're pressing it down. Oh, that didn't get pressed down very well at all. We'll try another one. as tight as we can, pushing down, and then tape this down. The tape's actually sticking all right, so this one might work. We might do one more. This thing's gonna fall over. One more. constant pressure pushing down and tape all this stuff down so it doesn't come up 
and this might be good for the humidity too because I find a lot of people say that you need the humidity for it to um for it to take so and it looks good then we got some more tape but this one is micro pore tape and so this one has little holes in it um, I think this one is used for growing mushrooms Again, pressure downwards. Ooh. This one's this one's very old, it's quite sticky. See how that goes. So these are all like cactus I want to keep. There are like, I mean this one's, that's a no ID. You know what? They're actually all no IDs. But I do want to know what they look like when they get older. So these will be temporarily grafted until I can see, you know, they're maybe that big. And um, then I'll degraft them because I know what they look like. I'll root them and they'll have their own pots. So if these won't be grafting stuff forever. Okay, so what do we got this time? Duct tape. So far, I think, I think all of those are gonna take. This one's gonna be difficult, difficult, because I can't really see what, where it's located underneath. But, um, hopefully it turns out all right. It's not looking good. Oh my god. Who knows, maybe this sticky stuff's Toxic, it's gonna kill them. I don't know. Well, we're finding out. Okay, we're now. I'm not too sure how centered this is, if it's gonna be overlapped or not. So this is probably the only one so far out of all of those that I think it might not might not succeed. Alright, now we're on to rope or I don't know what this is made from, but it's sort of like a rope or material. Um so we'll see how this goes. I suppose you could use string or rope or some sort of fabric. Um, this is just what I found around the garage, so we'll see how this one goes. Oh, this one doesn't really grip onto the spines, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this one. The ribs aren't like thick enough either. 
Because usually with the tape I can go in between the ribs. This one's pretty difficult. I would not recommend this one. Whew. I don't think this one's gonna work. Um, maybe I'll try to go under this thing. getting somewhere. Oh I'll my go, god. I'll go under again. We can just cut all this out. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is going to work. I've done it as best I can. Um, and I've had to take this off because I, I just couldn't tie the rope on it any other way. But uh, it's experimenting, so we'll see. The stocking. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty right. good. That's pretty good. That was bad. Uh, might have to use tape for this one too to like hold it down. But uh, we'll give it a go. This one's pretty good for centering because you kind of you know exactly where it is and you can get, just go straight over. Actually, that works pretty well. Yeah, that works pretty well. And the um, the spines go straight through the stockings, so it just holds straight in place. It's not super sturdy, but it's actually not bad, so that'll be interesting. And for this one, we're using rubber bands. So, I've seen a few people use rubber bands before, so we'll see how we go with this. I've never watched a video on, on people using rubber bands, so I've got no clue. You just need to... ouch. Okay. Mm. 
We've got one on. Yeah, good enough. I'm sure there's a better technique to use rubber bands. I've, I'm sure I've seen videos of people doing it with rubber bands, but we'll see how that goes. Let's just say you don't have any elastic bands. You have no rope. You have no stick. Oh shit. You have no sticky tape. No stockings. But you've got heaps of jars. So yeah, do you? Yeah, If it'll fit. Oh yeah, it's hit the top. There we go. It's pushing down the top now. It's fully connected. And uh, it's pretty tight on. It's I was I was thinking that um the weight of the jar would actually be enough to uh, just sit on top if this was skinny enough, like it was maybe that skinny or, or skinnier. Um, but it's actually like a perfect fit. It's 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 up tight against the, the cactus, so I've just sort of pushed it down enough that it's hidden the top there. And um, yeah, so I'm actually pretty confident on that one. But the problem is, is if you're going to do that quite often. You're going to need the perfect sized cactus and the perfect size uh, jar. So, and unless I do try it on a thinner one and a jar is just enough weight to push down. But um, then I suppose if you just bump it or wind, it might move around. Um, unless you also do tape with a jar, that might work. And then another thing I have heard is that if you cut like you've always got to basically do the tips um because the vascular ring is too woody um so i'm gonna cut this one right down maybe maybe down to here or something um this is a fairly fast growing brugesii i have and i have a few of these and that's the other thing i wanted to test is grafting on one of these but i'm going to cut it down there and see what happens um yeah and the other thing is, because we want a clean cut, we can't be using serrated knives. We're just going to cut straight through it. I'm not sure how, how well this is going to cut, but we'll see. Um, about maybe there to give us plenty of room. Oh yeah, it's, it's tough. Cardboard here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. That is ridiculously hard. That's a snap. <laughs> yeah, alright. We might be able to do something with that. I'm not too sure how I'm going to go there, but... Um, I might sharpen this, and I'll give it one more go. Uh, yeah, well, that's what we're going with. We're going to give it a go. I know it is very messy, so you can see how woody that is there. Um, 
I have no idea if this is going to work, never tried it, and everyone says, you, you know, you can't really put it on woody stuff. Um, and that's why you see a lot of the time grafts will be like this far off, but that's because they cut the, uh, the tip off of the cactus and then root that and then graft on that. So, let's see how this, this will go. I mean, this is pretty easy to match up on the uh, vascular ring, so. Um, and then we're just going to use my, this one because I've, I'm most used to this one. And I think this will be the most successful, for me at least. Okay, maybe. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Alright, not too hopeful, but it'll be interesting to see if it takes. Alright, so this one is going to be a bit silly, but I thought, why not? Um, so I'm going to stick this on here, but uh, I'm going to lay it down and uh, push it up against this tub and see if I can graft it like that. I have no idea if this is going to work. So I'm going to sit this brick on it. I'm going to push it forward. I'm going to slip it in place. I cannot see where the vascular ring is. But I'm going to take a guess. About there. And then we push it up. We're on, and then I get another brick, and I'm going to place it against the pot. Um, yeah, I think it's on. And uh, we'll just make sure there's pressure up against it. And that's it. We'll, uh, we'll come back and see if that's taken. Alright, so we're about done. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten graphs. Um, they've all come from this tray of seedlings. These are all from Anor Peru. Uh, sorry, they're from Peru. Uh, from the guy called Anor Chavez or Hammond Grande, whatever you want to call him. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite interested to see what these guys will turn out like. Um, and possibly I won't even see any of them grafted because they may fail. But uh, let's have a look what we got here. We got the original, the grafting tape, which I'm confident will succeed. So, I'm confident on that one. I am kind this one's iffy, it should go, as long as none of the bands come off, um, it should take, so I'm giving that a yes, yes, uh, I'm giving this a yes, that's the tape, the packing tape, I don't know about this one, honestly I can't see it, I'm going to say yes, it's going to take, uh, the jar, I'm going to say yes, simply because um, you can see it's squished on the top there. So it's pretty pressed down, it's got plenty of humidity, I think that'll take. Uh, maybe not in the sun because it'll get cooked, but it'll be in, sh in the shade soon, so we'll wait and see for that. Um, we got this one. I'm going to... Like, I want to say yes for all of them, to be honest, but it's probably a no. I don't think that'll take, just because of how woody it is. This one looks pretty good. I'm not sure how how much pressure there is on, on the stocking. Not too much, to be honest, but it'll at least keep it still. So, 
maybe uh, that's a straight no I don't think that's gonna take um, I don't know man honestly I feel like they all take but this one tapes already coming off so I will try and stick that back on I won't do any more modifications or anything but I will I'll try and stick that back on as best I can but um, I think that'll take two and this guy <laughs> so yeah if you want to go super minimalistic you can just do this you can chuck books up against it you can do anything just push it up against a wall and you should be good but I actually think that'll take I think they'll all take to be honest um, except for the the low graft the one with the woody center I don't think so but yeah be very interesting and we'll wait and see what happens all right so it's been pretty much one week um, and I've sort of set these to the side so they haven't been getting direct Sun they have been a little bit rained on uh, I, I did try and put some pots over them just so did, they didn't get too much rain but you'll see when I show you um, a couple of them got a little bit of mold or uh, some black spots but it should be all right we'll, we'll find out so I'm gonna start off with this one here which is the elastic one I think this is the one that kept moving about and I wasn't too confident with. But it seems attached and we'll get some close-ups on all of these later on. This one was how I usually graft, which is with the tape. Sometimes I'll only leave um, this stuff on for like maybe three days. But I just thought specifically for this experiment, um, I should leave it for like a solid week and see what happens. Stocking. I feel like this one's actually might be pretty pure. Right. Oh, I did. Oh, I don't know. It's on, but it, it doesn't look doesn't look stable. I definitely would not recommend doing this one. This one was, yeah, ridiculously hard. Um, This one was the micro pore tape, which I suppose would be similar to any other tape, but what I did find is this didn't stick very well to the cactus. On some spots it did, but I noticed it kept coming off. So even like half hour after my video, um, I would come back and then some of it would be lifted off. So I don't know how well this one will, this one will go. Oh, and it's actually quite stuck on the cap. Oh, there you go. Unsuccessful. Yeah, okay. Doesn't really surprise me too much considering it was already coming off um, like half hour after the video, like the tape was. So, do not recommend that one. I think the rest will be successful. 
Except for maybe one. Now I'm worried about this one, it's going to rip the seedling off, the graft. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, maybe. Let's do this one. This one is one of my favourites out of all of them. What I have noticed is because the flashy bit reduces when it's grafted, because um, the jar was pushing down on it, now it isn't touching the graft. But doesn't seem to be an issue because that actually seems to have connected really well. So this actually might be one of my new favourites. The duct tape. Yeah, looks pretty successful. I think that's a fail, so I'm going to do that one last. So this is the one where I've just pushed it up against the uh, the bucket there. And do you know what? I don't know. It's got some black spots on there, but it does look connected. Now, this one, not sure how it's gonna go. It does look connected, which will actually surprise me and might change how I do graphs. Yeah, wow. Um, it looks like it's actually taken. So, we got the elastic band. This one had the elastic bands on it, and the black stuff is due to the rain. And so, we would have had the rain uh, sitting there for a little bit, which hasn't done much good. But if we look down there, it does look raised and over here if I can get it so, so far this one could possibly be a success but it's not 100% because um, you know you don't really know until they're two, three, four weeks in, they sometimes just don't grow and then they pop off. Um, then we got the stocking over here. Uh, this one's a bit wonky. But, if we look under here, what do we see? It's not connected there. Let's lift it up. Um, if we look on this side, it is connected. If we can just get that angle, yeah, right there. So, and it looks like it could be connected on that, these sides too. It's harder to see with the camera, especially with me moving it around. But, um, that one could take, but I don't think it's the best craft, to be honest. Uh, we got my usual one. So this is sort of, where are we? This one is sort of the control. Um, sorry, no, it's not. This one is. This one's the control. 
which is actually looking the worst because it was exposed to rain unlike the sticker tape duct tape and jar they weren't uh, subjected to the rain and they are looking pretty good from a distance um, even this one's looking pretty good like in terms of no uh, black or mold or anything but it just wasn't being pushed down hard enough with the uh, micro pour tape so yeah but um if we can get a shot on this side It does look raised there. I don't know if you can see it, but it is slightly raised at the uh, join. But I actually can't tell. I mean, give it a little bump, it's not moving, so we'll see. Now, also, I know everyone's going to tell me that I need to be cutting these edges off. Cut these edges off because of this specific thing is that when it sinks in, it pushes up on this. Um, yeah, I could, but I don't know, maybe I'll just learn for myself. I've done all these ones over there, haven't done it once, and they're all fine. Um, I think I only had two that were unsuccessful because I left them out in the rain. Uh, disregarding this, because I didn't really think the micro pool would work, but yeah. Um, so we'll find out if the control measure works anyway. And then we got the sticky tape, the packing tape. And that looks pretty good. Clean. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably a success. And then we got the, yeah, the micro pour tape. So it's just, like this came off and it's not really fleshy at all, it's sort of dried and calloused already um, and you can see there's the, the stock, it just, yeah, it didn't take, it wasn't being pushed down enough I don't think, um, yeah, unsuccessful, but I will uh, cut that again, cut that again and I'll stick it on properly so it won't be wasted and uh, then we got the rope or material that really for me I wouldn't use again it was very difficult to uh, uh, use but it um, it is swelled up at the at the base there so I would say that is connected um, and there it's swelled up too so I would probably say it's connected but I wouldn't be surprised if it um, breaks off um, then we got the duct tape which actually didn't turn out too bad So it looks like it is connected, um, there's not too much swelling up like some others but we'll have to wait and see. And then this one is the jar, which I actually liked quite well because it kept the humidity up but not too humid, kept any rain off of it. As long as you've got it in the shade it, won't, it shouldn't overheat from the sun, um, but it's actually done surprisingly well. So, yeah, then we got the one that was pushed up against the wall, which is this guy, and so this one has this black stuff at the base of it. If I can get a good shot of it, you can kind of see the black. Um, now I don't know if that's rotting or why it's done that. It might be the it's actually raining right now, so that's no good. But um, 
it does seem connected so I suppose you could use this method um, but I think it, I'll have to wait and see what the black stuff is if it's just a coincidence if it's from that bit of rain that I had maybe the way it was uh, being laid down it was just sort of sitting on I don't know but yeah it's not too bad and then the last one is this one now if you guys remember this one was quite tall it was like up here or something and so this down here was quite woody as you can see there uh, quite woody and so that was grafted onto there and I really didn't think it would take but there is some swelling so it has uh, joined underneath there if I can get there you can see the swelling from the seedling pushing down um, as well as over here and there so that's very surprising considering that um and this was used by my normal method which is the tape the cling wrap sort of tape um so yeah i would say that's success success but we'll have to wait and see uh now what would i recommend and what wouldn't i recommend um so far I would recommend jar, duct tape, tape, maybe the stocking if it was kept out of the rain. All I've got to keep remembering to keep them out of the rain because it does this sort of crap and then it won't be successful. Um, rope, don't do that. Elastic bands, it was quite difficult for me but I've seen people use them before. Um, this one could work and this one actually looks decent so most of them seem like uh, reasonable ways to graft but I will then put the next video in this video of them maybe a month later or something so we'll see what has taken and what hasn't and how much they've grown all right so it has been maybe around three weeks since I last reported the graphs so we got all the graft experiments here and we now will see what has taken and what hasn't first off this one was a fail and this one was this micropore tape which just didn't really didn't stick very well onto this stuff um, it didn't hold much tension I had to continually like reapply it like re stick it down and even then um, after that day it just wasn't stuck down very well um, so it didn't it wasn't successful and then I had to redo it with my normal method which is um, with this stuff uh, and so that was the second attempt but um, yeah so I would not recommend micropore tape I do still recommend this stuff this one was successful um, they've all got a decent amount of growth on them except for the ones obviously failed or are, are not grafted very well um, but so far I'll we'll try and see what the union looks like there you can see the union has swollen up just there you've got a crack because it's uh, expanded and you can see a bit there too um, so that is, uh, I, this tape I bought for grafting citrus trees, so I don't know really what it's called, but it's usually like flat, it doesn't look like this, this is obviously used, but it looks like, um, that there, and it's pretty flexible too. Um, then we got the duct tape, which surprisingly worked alright, I mean, 
it's not the healthiest craft let's get a zoom in on there it definitely is attached yeah it is attached let's see so this side we can see a little bit not the best craft but it's successful so that was duct tape then we got the stocking uh, which really I, I just wouldn't call it successful at all I mean I don't even know if that is connected it, it is connected and uh, it's on but I don't know if it's going to transfer any nutrients over um, but I wouldn't call that a success it hasn't grown at all from what I can tell um, I'm gonna leave it see what happens but yeah so the stocking didn't seem to get enough pressure maybe if I were to um, pull the stocking down further and then tape the stocking around it could have worked um, I'm surprised it didn't work because it seemed quite easy and, and, and worked well um, then we got the uh, material or like some sort of rope which this stuff specifically wasn't the best and just tying something on there was just impossible to get the pressure and then also tie a knot so I wouldn't recommend that um, though I am very surprised it did take um, and from what I can see it took quite well you can see in there it is swollen, it is definitely taken, and um, it has grown. Go check the other side. Yeah. So that is the rope or material. Elastic band, which I've seen a few people use like elastic bands, different techniques of doing it. I don't really use them, so I wasn't really knowing what I was doing, but I was just obviously winging it, as you could see. Um, but again, this one was successful, pretty, pretty well on there. Um, yeah, it's that side, and it's also yeah grown a decent amount so elastic bands success then we got the packing tape which was the uh, clear one that was like yes actually sticky um, which again worked quite well to be honest this one is one of the best graphs out of this lot um, it's already shooting out a pup there and it, it's grown more and it's got a pup so I'm very impressed how well that's taken obviously it will take into um, consideration you know how clean I'm doing the cuts like I know some of them weren't the best cuts um, but it's more about I'm, I'm also thinking about the actual techniques um, but yeah that's taken very well, sealed pretty much all the way around. The only place is about there that isn't sealed, but um, everywhere else is pretty tight. Then we got my, actually we'll go this one first, which is the one that I pushed up against the wall, which actually didn't do as well as I thought, I actually thought this was going to work very well. Um, I kind of want to say that's a coincidence that it did not take very well because it, it's it's definitely on on the on the, where is it this side? Yeah, it's attached, but again. I don't know how much it's really grown. I don't think it's grown at all, to be honest. Um, I will leave it for longer, just to see. Um, but I wouldn't call this a, a success. 
Uh, anything that I have seen growth on, to me, that's a success. Um, or is clearly like fixed to the stock. Um, and so that was, yeah, pushing up against the wall with a brick. And I just, yeah, I don't know, I would have thought that would be successful, but no. Uh, I might I might try it again one day though. This is one of my favorite ones, which is the jar, which I had no idea how the jar would go, but it actually worked very well because it kept any rain off of there. It kept the humidity up um, so that it joined quite well and it was the perfect amount of pressure on top of the um, ski on onto there um, so we'll have a look at the join here it is like super clean just one of the best out of the lot so give it a little turn Yeah, you can see that is just really nice and clean all the way around. And it's bloody pushing out a pup as well on the bottom left there. Wow, okay. Um, now the only issue though is you've got to make sure that um, the jar is the right size. Now that's a pretty wide jar from like what I have, for, uh, uh, so this only just, sorry, the jar just fit over this, uh, so you've got to use a thin grafting stock, and a lot of the time, if it's thin, it's not gonna be pumping too many nutrients in there and whatnot, um, and if it's not a tight fit, then it's just sitting there on loose. So this was a perfectly tight fit. So that's the issue. You need to find the right jar for the right size, but regardless, it worked fantastic. Um, that probably has the most growth out of all of them. Um, so yeah, I was very surprised that the jar worked very well. And then we have this one, which I, I thought that this would not work, but it has. Now this one, um, was about this tall, somewhere there. And so, as you should remember in the video, it was quite woody. That's what it's grafted onto, all that. Um, but surprisingly, it has taken very well. Now this technique is where I used this one, which is what I usually use. Uh, just to make it a more chance of success. So you can see under there, it is sealed. That's all sealed, that's sealed. And I'll get a better shot over here. So yeah. I don't know if I made that myth up or what the case is, but I just never hear of people grafting like down low on uh, your grafting stocks. But so I think I'm going to try it with some bigger guys if I've got something like this. Like he's starting to get pretty thick. Um, I might try and cut him down there and stick something on him to pump as much juice in them as possible. Um, but yeah, this guy's also grown. So, and it's already chucking out pups, so I'll have to, I'll cut those off, so all the juice goes to this guy. But, um, yeah, it seems ready to go. But, yeah, that was quite interesting, surprised me. Um, yeah. So, out of all of these, the main thing I would recommend is using some sort of tape. The tape work as long as the tape is going to either be sticky or if it's this sort of saran wrap kind of tape um, so that you can really put some pressure downwards and the main thing I found that works or, or gives you a higher success rate in grafting is the amount of pressure that is put onto the uh, seedling or the graft um, 
down onto the stock. You want as much pressure as you possibly can down, with obviously without squishing and destroying it, but you want that sealed. Um, uh, and obviously cut it, cut both as quickly as possible and place them on so they're both still wet, moist. Um, yeah, and, and out of all of this, I would mainly recommend what I already use, which is the saran wrap tape, but it seems that you can use a jar if you can get that to work, if it's the right size, uh, packing tape, duct tape worked all right. Um, I wouldn't recommend rope. I mean, it did work, but it just, it was such a hassle. And I, I personally don't like the, the elastic bands, but I know a lot of people use them. Um, yeah. Uh, I might do another video of this in the future, maybe next summer. Um, and I'll try even some weirder grafting techniques. Uh, but I, I feel like if you put in enough effort, you can make anything work. So yeah, thanks. All right, so two weeks later again, I thought I'd do one last checkup on them. Um, and we've got even more growth, shooting out pretty big spines for their size. And this one definitely is, I won't say grafted, but it's taken nutrients. It's, it's definitely grown some more spines. It's plumped up more. And it's all just that one connection there. So again, I wouldn't really say it's a success, but yeah. That one's grown quite a bit. That one's grown a lot, which was the jar. But again, regardless of how the technique was done, um, I think it really comes down to the fact of the genetics of this, genetics of this, and how hard you actually try to graft. Because this one, again, was a fail. Um, I can't remember which one that was, but I've, I mentioned in the uh, video previously, and, and this one as well is taken off, but I need to cut those pups off to give more growth to him. Um, and yeah, this guy he has taken, but he's quite slow. Um, so that's all of them have technically taken, except for this one, which I had to redo. Um, that definitely did not take. Um, but yeah, just to go to show that even that one is growing.